everyone, it's Janet with Sugar Shine Designs. I hope you're all having a great week so far. Today I'm going to show you some exciting new products from Cottage Cuts. They've put out two new huge releases this month that I know you're going to want to check out. The first is really exciting because they've added an extensive new release of nested die shape designs. And all there are 17 different sets, so it's a big addition to the group of dies that we all need in our card making toolbox. I recently received some happy mail from Cottage Cuts, and guess what guys? They sent all 17 sets to me so that I could show them to you on video. Yay! So I'm not going to go through making a project today, but I will show you all the new sets and show you several cards I've made for inspiration. Now I mentioned that there were two releases. I've told you about the Nested Shapes release, but wait, there's more. Yes folks, they also issued 20 new wedding dies. They are so fantastic too. I received several of those dies as well, and you'll see some of them used in this video. I'll be showing several others in August when I get back to bringing you project tutorials. Okay, so let's take a look, shall we? To help you get a better feel for all of them, I've cut a piece from each set so you can get an idea of what they look like when they are cut. The first design is the most simple and probably the most versatile because of the simplicity. You can see the circle set here and the oval set. Four general shapes of circle, oval, square, and rectangle are common in the new designs, except for one, which I'll show you in a bit. Now here's the oval set again, and the square set, and then finally the rectangle. 16 of the 17 nested die sets have five total dies in each. Also, I think it's important to mention that the nested shapes come packaged with a magnetic sheet, so there's no messy adhesive to deal with when storing them, and they'll stay put. To me, that's a great benefit that Cottage Cuts includes in all their nested die sets, even those issued before these. Now, one big advantage in the scallop sets for me is that these add some flair to your card making without being overly feminine. Sometimes it's hard to make cards for the guys in our lives, but the scallop sets will work well for that. To demonstrate that point, here's a quick get well card I just completed for a male relative recovering from surgery. Nothing about this card says female or male. It's perfect to use for the men or boys in your life. I could easily have used simple rectangles for this design, but to make it more pleasing to the eye, I cut three rectangles using two of the nested dies and layered them on the card for my background. I don't happen to have any Get Well die cut designs, so I used a Jolie sticker that says Get Well Soon in the Soup and some small cream of flowers and gems. I know this is going to bring a smile to my relative when he gets it. Okay, so let's take a look now at the next set. This design is called Nested Wacky Stitched. I really love these because they're fun and are perfect for offbeat humorous cards or really anything that isn't formal. These also have stitching on the edges that look organic and very casual. They aren't super feminine and have a lot of potential uses for that reason as well. As before, this design is also available in circles and here are the rectangle set the ovals, and finally the squares. And all of these have five dies in each set, like I mentioned before. Here's a card I made using the nested wacky stitched rectangle dies. I cut two rectangles from the set and layered them between fun foam so they sit off of the card base. So this is a good time to point out to you that I was successful in using fun foam in these uh, die sets. Also, this circle is uh, from another set that I haven't yet talked about, but uh, it's very sweet and very pretty. This is actually a great place to segue into showing you the next set. Now, this is called the Nested Stitched Eyelet Set. And this is the ovals. And you can see by the edging here, they're just so delicate and pretty. You have the stitched look as well as the eyelets in it. And I want to tell you that when I cut this, I had no problems cutting it cleanly. I didn't have to sit there and poke all these little holes out of the die. So at least for me, it worked very, very well in case you're wondering about that. Now, this comes in, again, the same four general shapes. We have the oval, we've got rectangle, the square, and the circle shape. I can see a lot of uses for this particular edging as well because it is so delicate and nice. Great for babies, weddings, or even some of the more informal cards like I used here to add a little, little touch to it. Let me tell you what else I used on this card. First is this cute little owl wedding couple. And it comes from the brand new release called Tandem Bike. It is adorable, don't you think? 
I loved using this die. It was so fun to put together. Um, but it fits the theme of this overall card of being casual and fun. I also use that Celebrate Expressions Plus die, and finally I use this Bird on Branch, which is a, just a, an existing die in the store that I thought added something to the card. So overall, I just have a nice, casual, and fun wedding card here. I wanted to also point out to you before I move on that I highlighted the stitching using some Wink of Stella and just followed along the lines on both mats to add a little bit of extra glimmer and shine and make it additionally more fun and sort of match with the glitter white paper that I used over here and then this metallic purple that I also chose to incorporate. I'm going to show you now the fourth grouping or the fourth set and this is called nested stitch scallops and like the other sets there are five dies in each of the sets here is the rectangle next is the square set here's the oval set and oops here's the circle set as far as I can tell this is the very same scalloping that I showed you in the first die cut sets that were called the nested scallops this, however, they've added the stitched element to it. That's why it's called the nested stitch scallop sets. And you can really see here the beautiful stitching and the pretty scalloping. It's really a, an elegant and beautiful set to use. And I think you're really going to enjoy this one as well. So let's take a look at an example of what I made using these. There's a card technique I've been wanting to try for some time, and it's called stack die cutting. And the way you do this is you cut five pieces in this case of exactly the same size cardstock and it's sized four by five and a quarter inches and then I cut a window in each of them so that starting from the top and working your way down they all layered so that you ended up with a small rectangle in the middle and a much larger opening toward the edges and then because you're stacking one on top of the other you get this dimension to the card of the different layers, which it's very hard to see in this video, but there is a graduation from tall to short all the way down to the middle. That makes this card pretty special. Now the focal point of this card is this cute just married couple, and it's uh, very simple. I liked using it because there was no pieces to put together. You just simply ran it through the machine, and it gave it just a really nice silhouette of this couple. And it's perfect here for this card with them just peeking out of that middle section. Additionally, I use the Celebrate Expressions Plus die. And then on top of that, just to accent it, I use this frilly ribbon from another release in the wedding set. It's called Wedding Bells with Bow. And like I said, I just needed the frilly part, so I cut off the tails and used it to accent the Celebrate. To finish it off, I used some pearls and some gems, and I think it just turned out really nicely uh, with an elegant feel, and um, it gives you this idea of how to use that stack die cutting technique. I'm going to show you now the last nested shape set, and this is called the Nested Stitch Doily Set. And you can see that was aptly named because of the pre lacy edging on the, these uh, dies. Now there are three of them in the set, the only one that does not have five. And I want to tell you that when I cut this, there were very few hanging chads, as I like to call them, on the edging here. It took just a little bit of time to pop out anything that still remained in there. So on my machine, this wasn't too tough to make either. On this project, I combined two of the sets. First is this nested stitched eyelet circle, then I use the nested stitch doily in the center. That's the medium size doily. And then I use the largest doily on the inside, which is a nice presentation. Uh, and I use the stamp in here for the sentiment inside. So it's made a nice little easel card. I, of course, uh, made these flowers from one of the Cottage Cuts sets. It's called 3D Flower Number 2. Here that packages. This is in the store. It's been there for some time. You can find it there as well. To add some greenery to my flowers, I used the leafy foliage dye, which is also in the store, and I put these yellow gems in the middle of the flower. Now, of course, the highlight of this card are these doves, and this comes from the new wedding release as well. This 
design is called Pair of Doves and it's so cute and so easy to work with. Now I probably went a little crazy with this brown ink. I was trying to distinguish the male from the female bird and I'll probably redo it but you know sometimes you just gotta try and sometimes you fail. <laughs> I used the Celebrate Expressions die here as well and that finished off this card. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did exploring these new nested shaped dies and some of the new wedding sets as well. I do hope you'll go check these out at the store. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Bye.